Poppy makes cocoa inspired hair accessories. Hey there, and welcome, or maybe welcome back to my channel. As you might know, there is a new Disney Pixar movie named Coco coming to theaters. And that is why today I'm going to show you two Coco inspired DIY hair accessories. One being headband inspired by one of the movie's characters, as you see circled here. The second hair accessory I will show you how to make is on a hair clip inspired by the film poster. The first thing I'm going to make is the headband. But first, I'm going to show you what you will need. For the headband, you'll need the free to download Coco Inspired Printable Flower Template. The direct link is down below in the description box. Else you need needle, thread, a pair of scissors, felt in different shades of red and green, a few beads, and a simple headband. For the hair clip, you'll need the Coco Inspired Skull Template, also free to download, and also the direct link is down below in the description box. And you'll need a needle, thread, a pair of scissors and beads, and else you'll be needing felt with a pattern, preferably a flower pattern, white felt, a hair clip, textile markers, and a glue gun. Once you've gathered all the supplies you'll need, you can start on cutting out all the flowers from the flower template. So this is a pattern for a flower, so add these two. These are leaf patterns, and these make a poppy kind of flower. You can make a big poppy with the biggest three, or a smaller poppy with the smallest three patterns. I've got a few shades of red and green for the flowers and leaves, and I'm going to choose two colors for the first flower to make on the headband. For this first flower, you'll need these two patterns. And when it's done, it's gonna look something like this one. For the larger pattern, I'm using the dark red felt, and for the smaller pattern, I'm using the pink felt. Next, just trace the pattern onto the felt with a pen or pencil, and cut the pattern from the felt. to use my smaller scissors on these because the pattern has quite a few curves. Once you've got the pieces cut out from the felt, take a needle and thread, thread the needle, and make a knot at the end. Now take your needle and stitch with a simple stitch along the bottom of the flower. Once you've reached the end, you can take up the needle but not the excess thread yet. Push down the felt and make a few good knots with the thread. And that is how simple it is. There you've got your first flower. Now, do the same for the smaller flower, but keep the needle on. I am just cutting the excess thread off of the small flower, not the needle though. From the bigger flower, I am cutting off both. For this flower, I'm going to use the largest leaf. Just choose a green, trace and cut out from the felt. First, I'm going to attach the two flowers together and on top I am adding a pearl-like bead to the center of the flowers.
choose a leave and attach to the headband by sewing it onto the headband. Make a few good knots and cut off the excess thread. For the next flower, I'll be using this long rectangular pattern. It doesn't matter if the felt is just a bit smaller than the pattern, you could use a bigger piece of felt, only I really like this color and it creates a variety of sizes. Again, trace the pattern and cut it from the felt. Fold the felt, double, and secure the bottom with a simple stitch, all along the bottom. When you've reached the end, don't cut off the excess thread and the needle just yet. Make small cuts, like so, into the felt. Push the felt down and start rolling and sewing it in shape. There's no better way than explaining than just to roll and sew, roll and sew, and so on and so on, until you've got a round flower. Attach to the headband by sewing it onto the headband. The last flower I will be showing you how to make is the poppy, and it is going to look something like this. For the middle, you could use just a small round black piece or a button, but I'm going to use beads, which I'm going to shape like a flower. I'm using one black big bead and 10 smaller white beads around it. Thread a needle, take the big bead and 5 smaller beads, don't let it slip off of the end. Now with your needle, go through the other side of the big bead, like so, and also, run your needle through the white beads and make a few good knots. Next, attach 5 more small beads and repeat the previous steps. Make a few good knots and run through all of the beads. Now just run your needle one more time through just the white beads only now. thread and sew it on to the flower and join the pieces together. Lastly, 
So onto the headband, don't forget to attach a leaf with it. Now all that's left to do is make more flowers to fill up the headband. Make them different sizes and different shades of red, but do leave some room so you can still put it on. Once you're done, the headband should look something like this. Just full of flowers, different in shape, size and shades of red and green. If you are looking for more flowers than you can find on this printable, check out this printable flower pattern I made for the Beauty and the Beast inspired video. The direct link to this free download is down below in the description box as well as the link to the video tutorial. Or check out this printable flower pattern I made for the Poppy from Trolls inspired video. This is also a free download and I will also put the link in the description box to as well the download as the video. Next up, I'm going to show you how to make the Coco inspired hair clip. Cut the skull pattern out, trace onto a piece of white felt and a piece of flower pattern felt and cut the traced skull out from the felt. Use textile markers to copy the markings of the skull onto the white felt. You could sketch it on first, or even cut out the patterns from the skull, whatever works for you. Do check your markers, some require different care after, like heat or washing. Looks quite good, doesn't it? The last thing you'll need to do is join the two pieces of felt together using a blanket stitch. But with this stitch, I'm also adding a bead. So just begin by threading your needle with a long piece of contrasting color. I'm using a dark red. First, stick your needle through the back of the white piece of felt, then once more through both to hide away the end of the thread. Now pick up a bead with your needle, I chose a clear bead, and go back in, front out, just a tiny bit further from your first thread, about the size of your bead. Pull all the way through, stick your needle under the thread, not through the felt, on the right side of the bead, and pull. So once more, pick up a bead, needle back in, front out, pull the thread, stick the needle under the thread, on the right side of the bead, and pull once more. Repeat these steps all the way along the skull. All that's left to do now is glue the skull along with a flower to the hair clip. If you have never used a glue gun before, or if you're not allowed to, please ask an adult to help you. A glue gun can get very warm and you might burn yourself. Use a good dollop of glue to glue on the skull and the flower, press down and let it cool. And your hair clip will be done. That is it guys, you are now done and make your own Coco inspired hair accessories. Don't forget to download the free printable patterns. All the links including those from the Beauty and the Beast and Poppy from Trolls are in the description box down below, plus the links to the video tutorials as well. Now have fun and make your own Coco inspired hair accessories. For more ideas and free printables, please visit my blog, puppymakesdiy.blogspot.com. If you have any ideas or requests on what I should make or bake next time, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Click here to watch any of my other videos or to subscribe to my channel so you'll never miss a thing. Thanks for watching! And see you next time!